what is the best convenience store slash truck stop sandwich in the United States on this episode of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, today is, uh, well, officially uh, Tuesday, the 23rd, Monday night. Picked up my load of Lignite in um, Glen Rock, Wyoming, coming up through South Dakota. So, reason that's important, South Dakota, because I'm here at a rest area in Presho, South Dakota, is anytime I get to come through South Dakota, I get to get the best uh, convenience store slash truck stop sandwich in the world. We're talking Dakota Tom's, baby. And uh, I've noticed they have some newer options lately. But first off, I got to shout out their sandwich, the, the one that started it all for me with Dakota Tom's. It's the Mega Club Sub. It's mega. First stumbled across these when I started doing the Lignite runs going up to Wisconsin uh, last summer and so forth. And I came across this one once at a, at a convenience store, a truck stop. The uh, Dakota Tom's Mega Club Sub. This has got, um, uh, oh, it doesn't even say on it what it has it here. Uh, it's got turkey, ham, uh, salami, uh, American and Swiss cheese, I believe. You can, you can kind of see a cross section in there, baby. Yeah, and the, the thing is, it's quality meats, quality stuff. Normally, a convenience store sandwich is just like, you know, sustenance. You gotta have something or, or you're gonna croak. <coughs> these things actually taste good. And so I started with these. I love these. They're huge. A lot of times I'll just cut it in half and then you stick it in the microwave for like 60 seconds. And then you get this nice melty, melty thing. It'll bring tears to your eyes. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, if you're really hungry, you, know, you get the whole thing. Okay, so I found those at first. Then they ha they have a brisket. They've got a roast beef one. That one's just okay. Um, and then um, what else did I discover recently? Oh, and then I, then I started seeing these. The Dakota Tom's double cheeseburgers. Yeah, and they're good. They're really good. The way you can see, they all have this kind of, looks like a little bit different kind of packaging. Because I, I went on their Dakota Tom's website and read all about it. They do this special thing when they package them so they suck out all the oxygen. They stick in other stuff so that it lasts longer and is much fresher. They're double cheeseburgers. About the best cheeseburger you can get in a package like this from a convenience store or truck stop. I found these just about a week ago. It's the Dakota Tom 9-inch Italian. Now this one's got uh, ham, salami, pepperoni, and pepper jack cheese. And you can look at the cross section there. Oh yeah, and again, quality meats, good stuff. I mean, good tasting sandwiches, and they're not all that expensive, you know? You're getting a quality sandwich here. So, uh, loving those. I, I just love their little logo up here. I'll put that on the side there. Yep, that's how I feel when I'm eating them. So, this one's really, really good. I had one of those the other night, so when I uh, stopped at the Common Sense in Rapid City, they just recently started carrying all the Dakota Toms, so I made sure I grabbed a couple of the... Uh, the Italian ones. And then what did I discover today? Oh my god, Dakota Tom's chili with cheese dogs! I'm a sucker for a chili dog. So I'm anxious to try these. Dakota Tom's chili with cheese dogs. Oh my god, I, I, I saw this tonight and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'm in heaven now. Thank you, Dakota Tom's. So... They're just a little tiny sandwich company out of Corsica, South Dakota, just south of Plankinton, South Dakota. And I know you're going, I've never heard of these towns. Right, me either. <coughs> I stop in Plankinton at the coffee cup fuel stop a lot. I'm gonna, probably going to stop there tomorrow and grab my shower. But yeah, chili, chili dogs with cheese, uh, the Italian sub, uh, and the mega sub, and of course, for the generic folks, a cheeseburger, double cheeseburger. These are all awesome sandwiches. I've only been able to find them in South Dakota because they're locally made and they use fresh ingredients and it's all just right here. So I, I think they just don't have the, the you know power to, to get them out too far and probably if they made a whole bunch of them and got them all over the country, the quality would go down. So, okay, uh, here's the whole moral of this story. If you're ever driving your butt through South Dakota, stop at a convenience store. I know the coffee cup fuel stops have them, the common sense have them, and some of the others do. Get yourself some Dakota Toms. You won't be sorry. Like I say, every time I come through, I stock up my fridge with all that because 
for one, they're fresh, they're good, and then I can heat them up real quick. If I'm at a shipper or receiver, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'll just throw a Dakota Tom's in the microwave. you got a nice hot sandwich. That's good. It'll bring tears to your eyes. It's a beautiful thing. All right, and for those of you following my channel for a while and you know I'm about to uh, switch into a new truck, I'm transitioning the trucks, not me. Uh, still trying to work that out. Um, still trying to get all the paperwork together and everything. It, it's, it's quite a process to switch trucks. Got a new plate for Wyoming, yada, yada, yada. So we're still currently in CT1 up here. Uh, CT2 still sitting at the house. Uh, I've ordered my porta potty and all that. Uh, I've got to order a new mattress for it because, of course, I have a full size that I built up here for my whole clutch trucker uh, remodel, and that won't fit in the new one. So I've got to get another Twin XL. Looking into that, I'm going to try to use some gift cards and things so I don't have to lay out as much cash. Because, after all, the whole point in switching trucks is I didn't have the money to pay for the whole in frame rebuild of this engine. Uh, that included everything that would be, you know, and plus the time off where I would have been down about $45,000 and switching into the other truck. I'm uh, down, uh, you know, about $7,500 for the down payment we had to put down on it. So, and, you know, hope is it'll get better fuel economy, uh, hopefully a little hopefully a little less maintenance because it's 500,000 less miles and all that. But we're still working on all that. Got to be calling Daimler uh, Truck Financial tomorrow and have them send the uh, you know title to Wyoming to Laramie County and yada yada next Monday I hope to try to get all of this in line running the uh, lignite now to Wisconsin normally I run the cereal back couldn't get that because uh, I couldn't get a hold of anybody over there last week but ended up getting another load uh, I just delivered in uh, North Platte yesterday um, a load of tissue uh, to the uh, Walmart distribution center found another one going all the way to Cheyenne so that's what I'll be doing again to get me back for Saturday morning, spend the weekend trying to get all the paperwork together for the truck transition to get into CT2, turn all that in on Monday, hopefully then uh, past Monday, next Monday, which will be what, the 29th, I'll have just one more week is what I'm hoping here in the CT1, and we'll transition into the CT2, and then you can follow along as I am going to be customizing that one a little bit. Uh, it does have that driver lounge set up. There's a pick right there. So that makes it a little more uh, easy of a transition from this truck. But there'll, there'll be some customizing and stuff on the way. And so uh, I'll be doing some things that if you have a Cascadia uh, 2018 or newer uh, with the newer interior, uh, I'm going to have some little um, different things that I'm going to be doing just that you as a driver, even a company driver, can probably do easily to transition uh, the truck a little bit and add some extra storage. I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of extra storage in a way that doesn't have to be screwed into the truck. And you could even do that as a company driver. What do you think? Yeah, I did that with uh, when I was a company driver at Well Companies out of De Pere, Wisconsin. I was in one of those Pete 386s which is uh, where it had a pretty small sleeper area, and, but it was just a single bunk, uh, but it did have ledges on each side. I was able to build a two-tiered shelf system to, just to carry a lot of my extra food and stuff and was able to put it into the truck. So it, it, I painted it, it looked really nice. I just stopped at a Home Depot in Alabama one time. I had pre-drawn uh, it out and measured everything, went inside, had them cut the boards for me. Uh, then I was somewhere in, I think, Tennessee at a rest area, <coughs> and I, put it all together, took it outside, painted it, let it sit out there uh, overnight for the paint to dry, was able to stick it up there and I had shelves the next day. I'm gonna be doing something similar like that to my new to me Cascadia so you can watch upcoming videos all about that. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Just a little silly, a little short one there, but uh, I love me some Dakota Tones, baby, so had to, had to tout that a little bit. Uh, right, Rusty? And of course, then that means Rusty gets his bacon strip, so he's a happy dog. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment uh, and share. I uh, get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Clutch Trucker on Instagram. Clutch Trucker on Twitter. X. Clutch Trucker 5 on TikTok. Ring that bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. They're gone. They're gone. Where did they go? They must have hyper jets on that thing. Well, what do we have in this thing? A Cuisinart? No, sir. All right, look, we need, we need to go ahead and pass him. Uh, should we go to light speed? No, no, no. Light speed's too slow. We have to go straight to ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed? We've never done that before, sir. Ludicrous speed! Go! Sir, shouldn't you buckle up? Ha, buckle this! All right, there he is, filled with anticipation. 
right? All ready to get uh, your begging strip? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> I think. Alrighty, you meatball dog. There you go. All over it. All over his begging strip. And why? Sing it with me. He's a begging strip dog. He's a begging strip dog. Sometimes he eats too fast and it starts to cough. He's a begging strip dog. All right, one more little piece for you. Rusty. There you go. Happy dog. Ah, oh, yes. Makes his day crack cocaine for a dog. Made by Purina. Oh, yeah, it's got a couple crumbs down there. Eat them up. Eat them up. So we have to get that happy dog look, right? All right, I think it's almost all done. Look up here. <laughs>